What's up, y'all? It's your girl Shree Bad. I'm over here looking at this follow up for the video that I did about Matthew Perry, who recently passed away. The autopsy report came in and he died from ketamine, acute ketamine. But it was told that he was doing ketamine inversion therapy. And I didn't know what the hell that was, so. I decided to look it up real quick. So this is from WebMD. All right, I can see it right there. If y'all need the link, let me know. Y'all can just do a quick search for ketamine infusion. What is ketamine infusion therapy? And the WebMD site will come up, trust me. Now, this was written in 2022, so it's pretty recent. Here we are, this young man, well, he is young to me. Young man will live with depression for 25 years and ketamine treatment saved his life. Okay, he was highly depressed and suicidal, and then he got ketamine therapy. So, ketamine got its start in Belgium in the 60s as horse tranquilizer, all right? It was approved for people in 1970, and it was used in treating soldiers on the battlefield in the Vietnam War. Wow. Emergency responders may give it to an agitated patient who they have rescued from a suicide attempt. That is crazy right there. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. I didn't know that. This is wild. So, right here you're getting stories of how ketamine has helped people with their suicidal thoughts and their depression. Now, let's get to this. Ketamine causes what doctors call a dissociative experience and what most people will call a trip. That's how it became a club drug called K, Special K, Super K, Vitamin K. Now, I will say that Vitamin K is real. There is such a thing as Vitamin K in your body. <laughs> You need it, it helps your bones. It's not this shit. <laughs> okay. I think the drug <laughs> might just be. Let's find out together. Chabu. <laughs> so to put ketamine in drinks, snort it, or add it to joints and cigarettes. And you know I'm gonna talk about this. Right now I just wanna be kinda um neutral. Just read it off to you. And then I think I'm going to do a live or another video talking about my personal feelings on this. So here we go. Ketamine can produce feelings of unreality, visual and sensory distortions, disordered feeling about one's body, temporary unusual thoughts and beliefs, and a euphoria or a buzz. It says John Crystal, MD, Chief of Psychiatry at Yale New Haven Hospital and Yale School of Medicine in Connecticut, where he is a leader in studying ketamine's antidepressant effects. The trip lasts for two hours. Now, before we go any further, I want to say that it's kind of like what happened with LSD. <laughs> okay? <laughs> um, y'all look up Ram Dass, and y'all understand where I'm coming from. The trip lasts about two hours. There are risks. Unconsciousness, high blood pressure, dangerously slow breathing, long-term problems include ulcers, pain in the bladder, kidney problems, stomach pain, depression, memory. Ketamine could be fatal for people who abuse alcohol if you take it while you drink. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Oh, to be clear, casual use is not a treatment for depression, but doctors have developed a protocol for medically supervised use that may help people who don't get relief from other medications. All right. Ketamine comes in several forms. The only one that the FDA has approved as a medication for depression is a natal, nasal spray called Spravato. Mm-hmm. 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 They continue on their antidepressant and receive this thing at a doctor's office or in a clinic where a health care provider watches over them for two hours after the dose. Okay. And for treatment resistant depression patients usually get the nasal spray twice a week for one to four weeks and once a week 
for weeks five to nine, then once every week for two after that. Has a black box warning that sounds serious. Other forms of ketamine not approved by the FDA for mental health conditions include IV fusion, a shot in the arm, or lozenges. <sighs> Most research looks at ketamine given by IV. You can only get, uh, get it by IV or shot in a doctor's office. Some doctors will prescribe lozenges for at-home use, often to keep depression at bay between infusions. Child. <laughs> Mm-hmm. He doesn't make the determination. A doctor does. We're going to come back to this article. Trust me. The IV infusion lasts about 40 minutes. We're going to come back to this article. I'm going to talk about what I want to talk about. Okay. I'm still scrolling. If y'all can slow it down and y'all want to slow it down, you go right ahead. But like I said, we're going to talk about this Ooh, the way it works in your brain all of that but we at the six minute mark here and i like to keep these type of videos at six minutes all right so i'm gonna holler at y'all in a second y'all chew on this and i'll talk to y'all later peace